Anyhow, Q and A. Let's get to it. Let's see. Hello, Tesla. Yeah, Chewy. My dog. Gone. It's today is a Mark Cuban. Yeah. Name calling is not cool. It is not cool. Trust no one in 2023, but verify. Yeah, that's it. Black Rock sucks. Black Rider didn't suck. Black Rock's a bellwether for where things are going. And I think it's going to be a pretty good day when they come out and say, this is it. As far as crypto goes. But yeah. Uh, Kramer did go to college, amazingly. <laughs> I don't think anybody went to college to get stupid. No, but I think they went there to spend, spend a lot of money, that's for sure. Uh, yes. Thank you, Becky, for all the links. I appreciate it. Uh, be real, nobody has savings. Alex got a good point. I saw some data that came out that took a look at uh, the amount of debt that's on uh, the average American's credit card. It has skyrocketed, skyrocketed. And also data that looks at uh, the amount of savings that people actually have. And during the pandemic, when we were airdropping money like crazy, uh, we had a pretty good amount of savings. And now that we're out of that time frame and people had a chance to spend things, the actual savings accounts have been dwindling rapidly. And then once that runs out, people put things on credit cards. And then when that runs out, then we go through credit crunch, foreclosures, and you know the rest. So that's where I think we're going in 2023. I don't have much faith in 2023. I just really don't. That's okay. Like some people look at me and like, well, Rob, you, you know, you're so down about, about the market. Not really. I mean, trust me, there's other things to be down about. It's not the market. The market is the market. And we just have to be realist about it. This is the time to, to invest into things. And you, no one's going to want to hear this. Well, some, some are not going to want to hear this. But you're, you're, you're a long ways off from, from, from really hitting all-time highs. And so this is the time to think to yourself, what's my options? I can sell everything and take massive losses. That's what I could have done in 2018 too. But I'm pretty damn stubborn and I don't like to do that. So I just wrote it out and dollar cost average. Now there was times when I would step away from the market because I was just so sick of it. I was so sick of hearing people like myself going, you just got a dollar cost average, you just got to get in there. And I was like, who the hell is this guy? So like, and then I would take a, I would take breaks. I would come back, and I would, and then that would happen over two or three years. So don't worry. It's not like, I mean, if you're here right now, you're not a, a tourist. But at some point, you're gonna lose a little faith. You're gonna get go away, and that's normal. It's normal to do that. And uh, you'll come back, and and you'll get you'll hear a good story, or you'll see some good data, and and then of course things will will fall apart, and you'll you'll leave and come back. And that's just usually how it is. For the majority, not for everybody. I think if you're here right now, you're probably one of the one of the rare few that sticks around for the whole thing. And uh, that's it. And then, of course, the next bull run that happens, you know, then of course the big question will be, can you sell in time? And that's that's harder than. I think that's one of the harder things to do than buying dips. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's a good question. So isn't that what Black, BlackRock, J.P. Morgan, and all have been doing, developing their own private blockchain on top of certain projects? Yeah, I don't really know. So like you'll have Ethereum working with different different companies to make their own private blockchain. So I don't know, I'm not a developer exactly how that works, but as time goes on, you know, you, ha you, can, have block you can have private blockchains within your organization and, and bring people onto it, but... What's the point of that in a, in a, in a, in a private ledger? I don't get it. So like, that's the whole beauty of it. You have these ledgers, you know, uh, scattered about on, you know, hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of different nodes and everybody can, can take a look at it and they can verify it and they, it can be validated and they can go through. That's, that's where the power is. The power is not just that I, I, we've got two ledgers, one here and one at Pete's place and uh, me and Pete verify it so you're good. That's not that. It, it, I think as time goes on, and people start to understand what blockchain technology is, then they'll kind of understand it. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Rob, which does better 25, Tesla stock or Bitcoin? Eh, probably Bitcoin. I'd feel more comfortable with Bitcoin, honestly. I have some Tesla stock. I'm not big into stock, but stocks, but I own some. I'm more bigger into, excuse me, crypto and, ah, and real estate. No, I didn't. Who's Ben McKenzie? I don't know that person. Uh, your view on Polkadot? I think some probably do pretty well depends on if they can uh keep developing and move forward it's it all depends it's just like it's just like regular businesses you know you can have a great idea and have a good you know uh foundation but if you don't grow expand get a, a new customer base have real utility and actually make it out then if you're not growing you're dying and that's just how business is so if polka dot can't you know, bring in, you know, other huge businesses that uh, want to build on top of it or want to actually use it and have real use case and real utility and distinguish themselves, they will die just like uh, all the rest of them. I'm, I'm rooting for them though. I, I own some. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ah, it's worked. What's the exchange you trust the most during these times? Or, or what do you look at when evaluating risk in an exchange? So I look at, first of all, how long they've been around. You know how long, do you know how long Kraken's been around? It's a good question. I forgot. Let's see. Here's this website. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's Dan Teaches Crypto. And it's free. And there's this part that, first of all, I'm just letting you know, it's free to a point because everything's on there as an affiliate link. So like when you click on, where are we? When you click on like the Coinbase thing, uh, that's an affiliate link, but they haven't really paid out any affiliates anyhow. It's kind of sucks. Uh, and then Kraken, that is an affiliate link and also KuCoin's affiliate link, but these are the ones I use. But back to the question, Rob, you know Coinbase was established in July, 2012 and Kraken was July, 2011. Can you believe that? Yeah, long time. Long time. Kraken. Kraken. Oh, I got to change that. Jesse Powell's not the CEO anymore. There's Johnny Lou, starting 2017. So yeah, it just depends on how long things have been around. And I got to tell you, longevity kind of gets into me. So like for me, I just buy everything on Coinbase and I transfer it to my ledger. Very simple. And the ones that can't go to my ledger, like near, I just put it into my, my near wallet. And that's it. Uh, Dan, you are not doing DCA with James and many more. Uh, no. Rob, can you grow a big point center? I already had one, uh, but I just, I trimmed it down. Ran, ran, not Dan now. Yeah. Ran's on the show now. Good. That's good. I just don't have, I just, it's just too, too toxic. Uh, I was I was tired of the I was tired of the of the negativity on that show. So I just had to step away. Ah, Sin City, what's up, gents? Where'd you guys go? God dang it, where'd it go? I hate when I when I there it is. Hello guys. If you guys are doing great things, check out their channel, Sin City Crypto. I used to live there for two years. Well, Henderson. Or Hender Tucky, as people in Las Vegas call it. <laughs> yeah. I think Rob hides all his gold bars in his mouth. You know where I own most of my gold? Um, in, uh, in iTrust. In my crypto IRA. Because they allow me to do crypto and gold and silver. Actually, I have gold and silver in there. So, yes. Exactly. Bah humbug. Oh, that's a good one. Let's see. Partner. There is, um, let me see here. What? Come on. There we go. So Vicky says, do you think crypto, crypto suffers from the Gartner hype cycle? I think... I'm a big believer in cycles predominantly here. 
And then you can see here, Gardner hike. So this is this peak of inflated expectations. This is every, every all time high and every all time high is the same thing happening over and over again, every four years. So like in 2013, you know, Bitcoin, people just thought it was going to be the, that was it. People are going to, you know, FOMO in and, and they did. And that was it. But of course, you know, it dies down because people are like, wait, wait, who, how many people use this? Not that many. Okay, cool. And then of course in 2017, we thought it was going to be the biggest thing ever. And uh, then we started to realize, wait, who, who's going to use this? And then of course this, you know, the CME had their, had their futures contract which allowed them to short the hell out of Bitcoin. And then it just, everything just demolished. And then of course, here we are again uh, in 2021 and we just got way ahead of ourselves. And I personally believe that one of the problems with, with 2021, because it was, it was just different than here and here. There's no blow off top per se, but there was a good one. Caitlin Long was on Mark Moss's channel and she was talking about how the bull run was stolen this time, basically because of, of uh, over leverage and rehypothecation and just the demand for not real crypto, not real Bitcoin, but paper Bitcoin. And it screwed everything up. And that's, and that was part of that was all these rehypothecation centralized players. And that's, I think, what screwed everything up. Now we know our, we know the lessons here. And I think it's going to be a better, it's a better session, hopefully in this next upcoming cycle, but we'll see. So yes, to, to answer Vicky's question in a long drawn out manner, it is always the same thing. And, and you can see like, doesn't this match every four year cycle? Like, look at this. It goes up a little blop and down, right? Up, down, and then a little blop up. Eh, eh. Jesus, crime me Christmas. That looks exactly like it. Look at that. So yeah, and then the next one was a little bit screwy, but and you can see how where we're going. So good question, Vicky. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you think DeFi will do the do well the next cycle? I don't know. I always thought that gaming would do better. Gaming and NFTs. Not the goofy NFTs that we buy now. Those are stupid. But like the ones that like actually have like utility and like NFT for like your ID or NFT for like real estate or, or tokenization of like assets. Like, like uh, uh, BlackRock CEO was talking about. So I, th that's where I, I see more things going. You know, real utility and actually does something. Yeah, Jang Chow. I doubt Binance is, buy is buying Voyager. Huh, how much of that billion is BNB that we know is insolvent? Binance trying to play all with Voyager assets, very suspicious. All KuCoin maybe the next due to earn stake. I don't know about KuCoin, but as I understood it, and, Jay, and everybody can, can correct me on this one, I understand this was a cash deal. It wasn't, they weren't putting up their BNB coin for Voyager. I don't think so, because that would make no sense. Because if you think about it, that's what, that's what FTX was doing. They were going to give FTT token to Voyager and then everybody's going to be whole and that token is worthless. But I mean, I could be wrong. But that doesn't make any sense. Why the hell would they, why would they go for that deal? If that was the deal. Yeah. Aristotle said, yeah, past performance is never an indication of future performance. Exactly. That's what I tell my wife all the time. So let's see. Any good AI projects? No, but I mean... There's some great websites. I, I should sh I should share these websites with everybody. They're pretty great. Like you can do like automations of uh, like script GPT, and you can do things with like uh, Pictory, app.pictory.ai. You can roll your your videos through and and uh, spit out some really good text. It's awesome. <laughs> A rational says the second half of 2023, everything rises. I hope you're right. That'd be great. <laughs> what are your top 10 coins you pull from drip drops on Kodana Rob? I haven't pulled anything from there in I don't know how long. 
are any of them worth anything? That, that, I guess that'd be the big question. I like what Drip Drops is doing. It's pretty cool. You know, when you, when you stake with, you know, uh, with like D news or something for your Cardano, they actually give you some other tokens, which is great. Fetch it. Yeah. Fetch AI. Fan man. Hey Rob, did you ever buy in the cryptoverse? Yes. I bought four parcels, but not much happened with them. Don't expect them to ha anything to happen for like three or four years. Let's see. CZ is obviously more trustworthy than SBF. If you think so, whichever comes the bag. Yeah, me and Tesla in the same boat. I want to get all my money back too. That's it. Also, uh, I'm going to let you guys on a little secret. Uh, I am going to do a giveaway. And oh, let's be honest. How many of us are in, in peak performance shape? Raise your hand. Exactly. Nobody. So New Year's resolution is coming up, right? We want to get into shape in some way, shape, or form, right? So I, you can do anything you want to, but the easy way I found to get in shape is just to walk. Just, just start walking more. And for that, we're going to use Sweatcoin because I am heavily biased because I own a bunch of it. And the Sweatcoin app is free to download. Did you know that? You can download it for, for free. And what we're going to do is the top 30 people right now, there's a leaderboard and there's only like 120 people in there. So what I want you to do is we're going to download the Sweatcoin app. We're going to start January 1st. We're going to stop January. Is it 30 or 31 days in January? I forget. And what we're going to do is the top 30 people, you guys are going to win things. And we've, I've already got some, some, some good deals lined up. First of all, when is going to get, uh, an into the cryptoverse, premium membership you're also going to get a coin ledger membership which is to for taxes you're also going to get like between 2000 and 5000 sweat coins and you're going to get a shield folio all those things for number one number two person who comes in second you're going to get like a thousand sweat coins you're going to get a shield folio you're going to get access to some other things that i'm i'm uh, talking to people with perhaps maybe a ledger or a stacks or something like that and uh, it's going to be, it's going to, the rewards are going to diminish as we go down, but it's really not the point. The point is to get you out there and, and get up and move and all those things. And to do that, I'm going to motivate you by giving away a bunch of free stuff. So uh, look that we're going to, this is going to be finalized before uh, the end of this month. So I'm talking with a bunch of different companies and I'll get it all straightened out. But the, but the goal is to get them right way up bunch of things so everybody's like i want to participate and that's it and that's it that's my big big spiel that's all i got all right, i gotta go so everybody thanks for stopping by i appreciate you if you like today's video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing uh, maybe youtube will notify you maybe not it's a crapshoot but that's it for today so thanks so much for stopping by i appreciate you i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day adios